Hi, my name is Christian Martinez and this is Nada, my toy poodle. Today, we want to show you how you can create your army of AI agents. Now, I have been hearing a lot about AI and AI agents in 2025. I have read this report by Langchain on the state of AI agents. And they state that apparently up to 51% of companies have already AI agents in production. And up to 78% are currently developing AI agents in this year. So I have been trying to create a small army of AI agents specifically for finance and financial planning and analysis. And in this video, I want to show you exactly how you can build your own AI agents in simple four steps. Now, the small army that I have been creating, I want to show you a couple of them right now. Now, as you can see in the screen, I have been creating these AI agents for multiple use cases in finance and FPNA. I'll be leaving the link to this website below so you can try them too. But I want to show you a couple of them first, and then I will show you exactly how you can build your own AI agent for finance. Let's say that we want to do a cohort analysis. Now, I know that a lot of people in finance are doing this type of analysis every week or every month. So I decided to create this AI agent for you. In here, you can just drag and drop your file here for cohort analysis. I have added my data set in here and the AI agent is first previewing the data in and in a matter of seconds, it's creating already this retention rate heat map. Now, on top of that, I added this area where you can tell the AI agent if you want FPNA commentary. So let's say you just need to click here and it will be using the large language model behind the hood in order to create this FPNA commentary for you. And this is just the beginning. I have another AI agent in here for financial forecasting. Now, I know that one of the main things that we do in FPNA every day or every week or every month is forecasting our financials. So with this AI agent, you can create your forecasts using AI. Now, in here, you only need to drag and drop your file and at first, it will use Python to preview the data. Then you can select the column that you want it to forecast and click Generate Forecast. In a matter of seconds, it will be creating this forecast for you that you can download, visualize, and already get the different components of the forecast. But on top of that, it is getting you AI-powered forecast insights and additional considerations for your forecast analysis. Let's see one more example. In this AI agent, it basically creates a dashboard similar to Power BI, but using AI. Now, in here, you just need to drag and drop your data once again, and it shows you a preview of your data set, but then it creates a dashboard for you. On top of that, it creates AI-powered insights for your data set. And again, you can chat with AI about your data. Now, how exactly have I created all of these AI agents? Well, let me show you my exact workflow that you can replicate for your use case. Now, we're going to go through the workflow step by step and I will show you exactly how you can create your own AI agent. But first, I want to give you an overview of the workflow. The workflow consists on mainly five steps. 
The first one is where the user will be uploading their data into an Excel file or a CSV file. Now, other possibilities in here include an API connection with an accounting software like QuickBooks or also with Google Sheets, SharePoint, etc. Then the first step is that Python, the programming language, will be analyzing your data. Then also Python will be, in this case, creating the cohort analysis heat map that you just saw in the introduction. And then the large language model will be creating your FPNA commentary. At the end, Python once again creates a report out of it, either in text, PDF, or PowerPoint. Now, bear in mind that in all of this process, we are using the human in the loop framework because you're prompting and checking as well that the AI agent is doing its work correctly. Now, in order to create this AI agent, what I will be doing, and you can follow along, is these four steps. Now, bear in mind that you need to stop and pause this video right now if you haven't done two things. The first one is watch my videos to know how you can create your API access for Grok and GitHub and Streamlit account. Now, if you do not have these three parts, then pause here and watch the videos before on exactly how you can create that. But let's assume that you already have these three components. Then I'll be showing you now in this video the four steps in order to create this AI agent. The first one is just setting up some GitHub files. The second one is either using ChatGPT to get the Python code, or you can also just copy my code from the GitHub. The third one is deploying the AI agent using Streamlit. And in here, in this step, is where you will be adding your API key from Grok. And the last one is just to test and improve. Once again, if you do not have these three components in here, then I recommend you to pause this video and watch my tutorials on exactly how you can get them before. You have them already? Perfect. Now, let's continue. Now, let's start. So the first step that you need to do is to go to GitHub. And in here, you will go to create add file and then create new file. Now, it will open a new area in here and you will name your file. Now, for this one, I recommend just cohort hyphen analysis then you put the diagonal and you type app.py. Now this will be creating an application in inside the folder cohort analysis inside your main repository. In this case for me, is within Streamlight apps. Now in here, that's where you will need to add your Python code. As I was mentioning, you can use ChatGPT for it, and I'll be showing you in the other video how you can do that. But for this part, we're going to just copy my code from before. Now you can do that already, and you will need to copy all of the code and paste it here. Now, after you have your code, then you will go to the green button all the way to the right up and commit the changes. In here, it will ask you again, so you will continue to put commit changes. Then you will need to create a requirement file. Similarly, you will go to add file, create new file. And then again, I will be copy the file that I have in my previous one.
Now, the file that you will be needing, you will need to call it requirements.txt. So I'll put the name in there. And inside of it, we will need to add the Python libraries that we will be using for this particular example, that are these ones. Again, you can just copy and paste them from my example. And once again, we go to commit changes all the way to the top right and commit changes again. Then you will need to go to Streamlit. In Streamlit, then we will go to create app all the way to the top right and deploy a public app from GitHub. Now, in this case, it's already connected to my GitHub. So I need just to find the Streamlit apps space that I, will be used, that I was using before, and then the path that we just set up, which was cohort analysis. Here, so cohort analysis app py. And then in here, as an optional, you can add your own URL. So cohort analysis YouTube subscribe at streamlit.app. Now, this is where you will need to also add your API key. For that, you will go to advanced settings. And in here, you will be setting up your API key from Grok Cloud. Once again, if you do not have your API key, then watch the other video in the description in order to know how to get your key from Grok Cloud. One of the main benefits about using Grok Cloud is that we can use any of these open source models. And yes, the new model that everyone is talking about, it's already there as well. Now, if you want to change the exact model that you would want, then in GitHub, in the app.py, all the way below in my code, then I added the specific model that I am using for this AI agent. In here and you can replace this part with any of the LLMs that you might want to use. Now finally back to Streamlit you will just need to click deploy. Now when you click deploy then it will open a new tab with your application. And once that it loads, it should appear something like this. Now in here, as I showed you at the beginning of the video, you can then drag and drop your file. And when it loads your data set, then it will go and preview your data with Python, then create the retention rate heat map for you. And also you can generate AI commentary by just clicking this button. As I mentioned before, I recommend you to test your AI agent and iterate. Some of the improvements that you can do is that you can add the functionality so that your data set comes either from your accounting software or from Google Sheets or from a CSV file, let's say. And also the outputs, so your commentary could go directly into a PDF or into a PowerPoint. Thank you so much for watching and please like and subscribe. See you next time.